Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lana. And your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all know what to do. If y'all a family member, welcome back. If you're new to the family, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Rate the video. Do all that good stuff. Hit the bell. That'll let you know when we come through with another one. And this is the have and have nots in his eyes. Didn't too much happen, but I'm not even mad about it because last week was so explosive that yeah. we knew that we weren't going to get we a back-to-back. Back. Yeah, we couldn't get a back-to-back back like that. So yeah. it, it's, it's cool. It's cool. So this shouldn't even be long at all. We say that, but you never know. So what <laughs> happened was last week, right, y'all remember we left off with the shoo. Yeah. With Catherine going sliding across that floor. So now we ended up with um, Wyatt having this big old head statue. Holding it over his dad's head. And I'm like, okay, he gonna bust him upside the head with it. He really is gonna do it. I know he won't He was cracked it. out enough that I really thought he was gonna do it. But he didn't. He made a whole bunch of noise. And ended really up hard. ended up clicking back in. And not doing nothing. So here come Jim. And I no. said, Jim. No. He thought about, I ain't going back to jail. To that, that dude that, that got me. That's what he thought about when he had that statue. So Jiggle Jim. You were gonna kill me. I saw it in your eyes. But don't you never ever almost kill somebody ever again. Either you gonna do it or shut the buck up. Got right, this Jim. thing over my head, talking about so. Uh, uh, I said, like, Jim, this Jim, ain't the time to talk that boy. This ain't the time to be joking about it right there, man. And then he went ahead and he flushed his, finished flushing his dope down the dead going drain. I said, okay, this ended. Way differently than I saw. Yeah, it went a little bit more crazy because you 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 don't mess with they dope man. No, so even now I'm gonna skip around. When they got back to the house after they went ahead and left, and Catherine is like, okay, how long is this whole priest thing gonna bother Wyatt to the point where he has to do <clears throat> drugs and all of that stuff? And Jim is like, you think that's what this is all about? Okay, you can't say that it's not. So Catherine said, definitely what is a, it? Definitely a part of it. Yeah, it's definitely a part of it, but it's all it's a. It's everything. And even they say, you know what, we gotta admit, we sucked as parents. No, you sucked as a parent, you su no, we yeah, we sucked as both of y'all. Yeah. And this is just what it is. I mean, at this point, what can you do? Skipping ahead because I wanna get Wyatt out the way. At the end of the episode, we saw Wyatt go right back to the bar where he bought the dope from yeah. the first freaking time. I agree to say, you just got it yesterday, so he know, know it gonna be something ain't right. So homeboy was like, hold on, are you trying to set me up? I mean, why would you That's come back? That's what I would've thought. Yeah, you came back too goddamn soon. For what I gave you, you should be good for a good month, month and a half. Yeah. Well, you know, well, crackhead yeah. timelines, maybe a Maybe weekend. two weeks. So he said, no, 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 this don't sound right. So why went ahead and told him, said, you know what? My dad got a hold of my drugs and he threw them away. So homeboy was like, huh. Wyatt said, you know what? I need some more, but I don't have no money. He said, so hold on. You come in my face. Want mm -hmm. me to give you some guy doing dope, but you don't and have you no, got no money. money. So Wyatt said, you know what? I have money, but I am over my daily ATM withdrawal limit. So I'm like, how much money is you getting out the bank? So he said, I could sit here till, till midnight. Mm -hmm. Wait for the machines to flip over, pull the money out the ATM machine, and give you your money for the drugs. I'll sit here and I'll drink. I know I said, well, you got money for drinking, but you ain't got no money for at least a 10 or 8. Uh, nah, well, he was. He was going to run a tag. He was run a tag, but don't you need your credit card? Well, he can use the credit card there. Can't use the credit card for crack. <laughs> but anywho. <laughs> so, the um, guy behind the bar was like, he was looking at Wyatt, and Wyatt is, he, he, he going through it. He said, you know what? Go ahead. He Go ahead he, give it he, to him. he going through it right now. Look at his keys. He good for the money. Rich kid. He'll have your money. Just go ahead and give him the dope. Well, did we not forget that Candace is in his accounts? Yep. So when midnight come around, late in the midnight hour. You ain't going to have no money, player. Candace going to turn it around. Yeah. It ain't going to work in your favor. Yeah. So that's what we got with that. Over there at Demonica House, the cat fight continues. Okay. Now, I will say Melissa don't got on my everlasting nerve, but she gets on my nerve in a good way, but this time she got on my nerve in a bad way because you can't talk cash money, as Mike B would say. You can't talk that cash money skip. And then when you get what you've been asking for, you ain't ready for it. Yeah. She been telling Demonica this whole time, put me out. Put I me don't out. need you. Mm -hmm. I want to go. Uh, da, 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 da. 
soon as Demonica mm -hmm. said, you can go. Mm -hmm. I ain't got nowhere to go. You go pay for me and this baby. Demonica looked at her mm -hmm. saying, oh, you been paid for. Yeah, you been bought and paid for. So um, y'all can go and Benny, you can go too. Cause I'm done with both of y'all. And y'all ain't seen hell until you're dead with me. You but, on the wrong but you side realize, But you realize they answered our question because we kept on saying, why is Melissa still there when her daddy is dead? So her plan was to get that baby taken care of and her. So she wanted to live for free. But so, like I said. So she wanted to turn the game around and make her, make Veronica support her. I guess try to get back at her for what, what, what she did to her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But all I know was she taught cash money skit. And now that it is, it's, it's out on, the, you yeah. can't. Say sometimes, sometimes to collect. Uh, you ain't you, ready. You ain't ready for it. I mean, ain't got a dime. So the next thing we know, homegirl act like she wasn't gonna leave, and we saw her come tumbling out the door. <laughs> I said, God doing. This it body was, it, it was it was bad acting, but it was funny. Yeah, these body doubles is doing that thing. This guy doing season. <laughs> so now we gotta figure out where the hell. Melissa is going to go. But now she can't be up in Demonica house. So she better go back home with her mama. Mm, her if mama. she even got a house. So we we <laughs> got we got Deacon Derek and Trustee Hannah. Well, oh Deacon Derek boy. Deacon Derek got moves though. He yeah. got little player moves on him. Yeah. He but he a, ain't slick though. Took took her down to the underground. Yeah. Stephanie Mills. Got the music playing. I said, listen, look, let's uh -huh. go ahead and take five seconds out to appreciate good goddamn music. Yeah. Stephanie Mills still got the pipes like she used to. It kind of ain't flow all the way like it, like it used to, but it's still there. And them background singers were everything. Yeah, they hooked it up. So as soon as she started singing, the night we met, I said, Oh God, it just took me back to my childhood. Uh huh, yep, all the way back. That's the last time I heard that song when I was little. I hadn't heard it, man, since, you know, since I became an adult. I hadn't heard that Look, song. I might listen to that before I go to bed at night. That song had me all in my feelings. And I said, we had a whole good 10 minutes just dedicated to Stephanie. Yeah. Mills. And okay. you said, you said the episode, you said, uh, Hannah's panties went to the side. Hannah's panties went to the side. And that's what Deacon Derry had in mind oh, for yeah. Hannah that night. Oh yeah. He actually told her, he said, listen, what you got playing tomorrow? Because whatever you do, what I'm going to do too. She said, I got to go to church. I got to go to um, he, private I said, he, he said, I'm going too. When when she starts singing on the choir, I don't even see how to go to church. Yeah. We ain't we to go to church, Bible study, Sunday school, nothing. But she going to sing on that choir. Well, he yeah. said he going too. And he said, Sh are you going to call me or should you just nudge me? Ho. She said, well, Ho. you think you going to get something tonight? He I said, said well. I said, yeah. I said it's a good chance. He he bought 95% of the way there. And she been drinking too? Uh-huh. So Derek was like, um, I'm a man, so she said, but you supposed to be a saved, Save man. sanctified, holy ghost filled. He was like He was like, so you gonna go there? He looked at her like, I ain't never told you. Like Trey said, I ain't never I'm told you that I was saved. <laughs> I told you I was a deacon, but I ain't tell you I was a saved. <laughs> So Hannah went ahead and put the brakes on that real quick. He went ahead and took her home. The only thing that probably didn't have her panties to the side was that Benny showed God up. Got on Benny showed up and said, player, you ain't staying here. Benny shut all that skit down. Shut it down. Told Derry, said, you know what? You can go ahead and go home. Mama, I need to talk to you in the kitchen. But Hannah noticed that there was a shadow behind old Benny. Benny don't bark God do Melissa to the house. Yup. Because she don't have nowhere to go. So Hannah, she been sipping. So she a little loose with it. And she feeling herself. And she wants to be, um, what she, she wants to be? The deacon, um, anointed or rubbed off on. Yeah. So she's talking to Melissa. Melissa telling her, said, listen, I got put out. I have nowhere to go. So Hannah was like, so Benny, this is your friend? No, this ain't my ain't friend. my friend. It's like Benny. 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 Long story short. Hannah went ahead and told Melissa, said, listen, go ahead and pick a room. You can stay here tonight. Get you some good sleep. Get you some sleep. Because now she realizes who this chick is. She realizing that, that that's the girl that they trying to make Jeffrey marry. That's pregnant and whatnot. So now nah, I can't see this girl out in the street. Got Benny in the kitchen. Said, Benny, 
I'm not stupid. I, I know you tapping that. You were over there at Veronica house tapping her. And what you need to do is figure all this skit out while I drink this beer and go upstairs and wash a nasty ass. Huh? <laughs> I said, thank you, Hannah. It's about time somebody around here washed their hind parts ever they don't got it in. Ooh. So, and now Benny is stuck in the house <laughs> with Melissa. And she gonna get him at every, every turn. She is going to get him. That's probably part of Hannah's plan. Like, okay, okay, so, okay, so you wanna do that? We gonna make her stay right here so she can get on your nerves. Everything. Yep. So, over there in the jail, Jeffrey is in the cell. Still in this holding cell, and he has a little company this time. He has his little guy, and the little guy kind of brushed up against him a little bit. And Jeffrey was like, like Hold on. So, I thought it was real convenient that out of all of those people in there, this guy sits beside Jeffrey and starts talking to him about this scenario right here. Yeah, he says, I'm in here, can't wait to talk to my lawyer. I had this cop that took me. Oh, he took me and put me in the back of the car. I don't want to talk about it. So Jeffrey was like, what'd he do to you? What'd he do to you? So now he's realizing that the cop has to be Justin. Got that it. going around here, he, they raping everybody out here. <laughs> so homeboy was like, you know what? I don't want to talk about it. Then Justin Timberlake shows up. Ah, uh, yep. Pulls the guy right out, of the, out of the holder cell. Took him somewhere, and we don't know. I never. He seen never him. brought him back. And he never brought him back. That's why I'm wondering is a setup. Yeah, because I was like, how convenient. But yeah. did y'all see the look of jealousy all over Justin's he I tried mean, to, face? He tried to hide it. And I said, oh, so are you mad because you're not the only one that he's harassing around here? Like you thought you were the special one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it was a setup. But over there at um Deacon David's house. De Deacon David, he gets a phone call from Judge Franny. He said, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop that skit. This first person called me, I'm going to say, <clears throat> hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Judge Franny said, you know, I have good news for you. I'll be able to get your son out on bail tomorrow evening. So, you know, he's excited about it and whatnot. So then Erica wakes her tail up when she won't sleep. Yeah, she was eavesdropping. Yeah, and she was like, you know, so is it good news? And he was like, yeah. So then she hit with this. She said, David, you're such a good person, you know, and you're an amazing man, and it helps that you are amazing in bed. I said, it's something about them Harrington boys. Uh -huh. They got all y'all around here acting they got crazy. got all y'all messed up. And she said, you know what? I have something to tell you. It might be a little early. I said, Winch, if you I thought she, I thought she was getting ready to tell him that, that her and Candace was setting him up, but she changed her mind because she falling for him. Well, she said. Oh, I thought she was great. She, well, she did say I'm falling yeah, for him. Yeah, she did say that. Yeah. And he went ahead and told her the same thing. You know, I'm falling for you. He said, uh, <laughs> I'm falling for you too. <laughs> Say, you, you touch a place on the inside. Wait I think that. it's my soul. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Get the hell off me. <laughs> you, you gonna touch my soul. <laughs> I have touched your soul. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so eh. they going back and forth, back and forth. And Erica was like, you know, with you being the amazing person that you are, how in the world did you end up with that vile gutter snipe that <laughs> I ran into yesterday? He said she won't always that way. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. He still, he do cape for her though. Yeah, he still, yeah, he still defend her in, in, in you know, in this weird way. But, yeah. He started admitting, yeah, he started, most he started seeing signs, yeah, started seeing signs along the way. See, see, everybody don't come out the gate trying to set you on fire. <laughs> God do it. Yeah, they don't come out the gate like that, you know, you know, you know, they might push you around a little bit, you know, they might, you know, throw a match at you or something like that, you know, in the beginning, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So he by. did, he did admit, he said, you know, I still have love for her, but don't you even worry. I ain't I ill. Yeah. Going back down. I ain't again. ever going back. So she was like, okay, that's good. That's good. That's cool. That's good with you. And so we over there at the Artesian. 
Gia comes in the room because she needs to run Candace her money. Well, she notices that Oscar is on the bed just out of it. Gia can't get us. Gia ain't, bit, ain't built for this. She's like, right. what the hell is going on? Well, I've been doing the same thing. Hey, if, if if I can't go to somebody's house and somebody just land, oh, land somewhere on a bed or on a couch somewhere and, and nothing but drawers on, I'm going to be like, what kind of operation you, know, what, you working yeah. over here? What kind of cut rate production is this? Yeah. Well, long story short, I ain't even going to cut back to it. Oscar can't, she can't get Oscar up. He foaming at the mouth and all that. I believe that joker is dead. So and that's as far as we in got. The comments too, yeah, yeah. Was dead. And we did learn because she was kind of taunting him while he was like, <laughs> you need to hurry up and wake up because I already got it done. So letting us know that she don't made the transfer of this money. Yeah. Which she think it's Jim's money, but it's actually Wyatt's, Wyatt's money. money. And then she tells Gia, go ahead and get um, Jim Cry on the phone and tell him to get down here right now. So she calls. And, you know, she kind of laid it on thick. No, I need to see you now so we can finish what it's we It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, you know, Jim, he uh -huh. going to make it his way downtown. <laughs> yeah, he needs he need something to distract him from that, that bottle head, uh, that bottle that went upside his head. God darn. <clears throat> so, what the hell has happened? Justin comes and he gets um that guy doing Jeffrey out of the cell once again. He take Jeffrey out there one more time. And nobody questions any of it. I'm going to burn that dirty going jail <laughs> down. He pulls him in the hallway and he's basically talking cash money skit about what he has been doing with the other guy. And how, oh, I sense a little jealousy. I have a huge appetite. Oh, but you know that. I'm going to take you into the interrogation room. Mm, but don't worry about it. I'll take you back to your cell because it's going to take me a minute to get yeah. it back up because Say, I've already unloaded. You know what? I didn't even need to hear all of this because I'm... Last week, I loved Justin last week. But this week, we back to creepy mode. Yeah, back. Right. I mean, back and full of fat. So, but I don't think that's with that joke because the joker's name was Lashley. I don't think it was real. Yes. I think it was a setup because we didn't find out he's the bartender at the Artesian Well. That um, homeboy been looking for him. Yeah. So how? What he said? He said I got a DUI. But ain't say nothing about. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. Well, most men ain't gonna say that they were assaulted by another man either. So. Yeah. I can't even put that on it. Um. What else happened? I think that was. I think that was pretty much. Yeah, that was basically it. It was nothing that really, really. Yeah. So we slow back down, but we can't go no slower than this towel. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we gave like everybody gave you mad props. You yeah. even made Mike B come back. Yeah, Mike B came late. Don't but you he was piss here. off Mike. You Mike. Piss, you piss off Mike is over. I'm telling you, it's over. If y'all haven't watched last week's, Mike put it up last night. We laid in the bed last night. Well, laughing our tail. And I just happened to have it on, and I said, "Stella, Mike is over here, tripping." I sat there and I had tears falling down my freaking face laughing at that <laughs> stupid Mike. Mike is family though, so that's how we get down. But anyway, straight from the VM. The dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla.